Amen. But I'll tell you that God has never intended for you to live an ordinary life. God has planned for you has always that you live an extraordinary life. And the definition of extraordinary means beyond common order or beyond the common course of things. Or in other words, beyond the normal way of doing stuff. Amen? God has a plan for you. And if you begin to think and meditate and get on the plan of God that he has for your life, he'll be, he, he will start opening doors that you would never thought would open. Habakkuk 1.5 in the message says, Look around at the godless nations. Look long and hard. Brace yourself for a shock. Something's about to take place, and you're going to find it hard to believe. You know, people say things about you, and sometimes the things that they say about you are not very um, complimentary. Sometimes they're bad things that people say about you, or they're saying things that are pulling you down and negative, and they're saying things. Listen, you don't believe that stuff. Amen? What does God say about you? He says that he has a plan for you and he has a path for you. Psalm 1611, Psalm I have a path of life for you. And if we'll get on that path and listen to the voice of God, then he'll lead us, he'll guide us, and he'll direct us into what he has for you. Amen? So you have to tune out the people that say negative things about you. Amen? Tune it out. Don't listen to it. Acts chapter 13, 41 says, Look, you mockers, and marvel, and perish, and, and, and vanish away. For I'm doing a work in your days, a work which you can never believe, even if someone describes it to you in great detail. So God declares that he's going to do a work in our days that we wouldn't believe if someone told us. A work so marvelous, so wonderful, so extraordinary that some won't believe. Now think about your life for just a moment and think about the world that we live in. I think we need a work in our days, don't you? I think we need some people to stand tall and allow the Holy Spirit to use them because we need a work in our days, amen? When God makes statements like this, we need to realize that it's time to stretch our faith, stretch our imaginations, and think bigger than we ever have thought before. We need to think big and beyond what we can see or imagine. You know, and, and I realize there's wars and rumors of wars and there's homelessness and there's shootings and there's riots and there's marches and it seems like the whole world has gone crazy. You know why? Because the whole world has gone crazy. That's why. Amen. And the dark is going to continue to come. But God has called his believers here on earth to be the salt, to be the salt and the light in the world and to bring the light into the darkness. Amen. That's me and you. And so God has called us, ordinary people, to do extraordinary things in our lifetime.